RC Driver, live at five, your daily, I gotta come up with a better line. I'm just tired of your daily adventure into the world of radio control. Yet it is your daily adventure. This is Greg Vogel. And that's Bob Hastings. And we're glad that you could be joining us for another fine weekday. And it looks like my Dirty Slayer is back. Your Dirty Slayer is back. And we're going to use it to show you guys how to adjust a two-speed today. Oh, handy tips, especially because everybody's a speed junkie out there. So if you have to or haven't dealt with your two-speed or it's not shifting like you think it should be, today is the day to learn it. Or you could just watch it again on YouTube if you missed it today. You could. You could do that. Or Today's just, you know, Watch it tomorrow, day after that. Watch it twice today. I see. It's just like that. That those um, weird little like movies that they screw up the timeline. You know, like um, what's that? The John Travolta Pulp Fiction. I don't know, but you've lost everybody. Already. <sighs> That's right. It's fine. Well, so, right. yeah, we in our in our after show we, we've got uh, we've had multiple questions in the past uh, about uh, two speed adjusting. Guys can't get it right. Um, so today we're going to talk about uh, uh, cam style. Two-speed transmissions. There are different types of two-speed transmission. There's a triple clutch type, and then there's the the cam type. Most common, um, definitely. Yeah, most common, uh, e easiest uh, to manufacture, really uh, low maintenance and stuff. But uh, things can go wrong if you don't adjust it properly. If you don't know what to adjust, things could get even worse. And it doesn't even have to be a, a problem with something going wrong. I mean, sometimes even just a set of tires, a little bit different diameter. You got something mm -hmm. with, uh, you got big lugs on your, your treads and you, you switch to something a little bit more slick like. It's going to adjust, it's going to change the final drive ratio. It's going to uh, affect the shift point of your vehicle and that's mm -hmm. why you need to know this stuff. Yep. And just as things break in, uh, the shift point could change. So you'll want to readjust it so you get maximum performance out of your vehicle. But uh, when you start to adjust the two-speed, you want to start with first tuning your engine, making sure that your engine's running right. Because if your engine's not running well, it's probably not going to get up to the right RPM to where it's shifting the two-speed properly. So there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for adding to that. <laughs> so uh, uh, the next step is, of course, adjusting, adjusting the two-speed. Uh, in most cars, they have some sort of plug where you could pop the, the plug out of the transmission. <laughs> I don't know if it has a uh, mouth music like like that when you pop I feel plug like open, but but anyway, there's a plug in the top of the transmission, uh, side of the transmission where it depends on mm -hmm. your particular vehicle. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, so we have ours up on top on this Slayer, and what you have to do is you, uh, typically it's a two millimeter wrench that you need a two millimeter screw within there, and you have to go and kind of search for the uh, two speed adjusting screw, and to do that. You have to move the uh, the spur gear, rotate the spur gear until you find the uh, the the opening. Put your screwdriver down in there, your Allen wrench down in there, and adjust it in small increments. You don't want to go and start wrenching on the thing, doing multiple turns because these things are, are so finicky um, that just a quarter of a turn, eighth of a turn is is enough to cause a, a major adjustment. Uh, why don't you back that out? I I'm good. Oh, good. You got one here. A, uh, yeah, I took apart another Slayer. The important thing uh, when you get into these cam type two speeds, the important thing to note is that there's going to be two set screws in there. One's going right. to is actually the the deal that's holding the whole assembly onto the transmission, the the um, output shaft, mm -hmm. and then the other is your your adjusting thing. Either yeah, actually, once once you zoom that sucker okay. back in there. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Shouldn't have had to do that, but anyway. So we zoom back in. Boom. Uh, here, took the uh, took our one of our other Slayers apart. Focus. Um, focus. Focus on the candy. Focus. So uh, here's our here's our gear where focus. the cam catches on the pin I and that the engages the, the second gear. It's a big white buller. I mean, here, it's a, yeah, there, there almost. Go. Boom, right here. I like it because it's live. There, there we go. Is, yeah. So the cam catches one of these two pins here, and, and that engages your second gear. And here in this metal assembly yeah. is where our cam is located. And I kind of loosened this up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I mean, it's kind of very fine. But this, this black cam in here, this pops up when it reaches the proper RPM. And so what you got to do is you got to find this set screw that's on the angle. And laugh like Bob. No. Here's a set screw that's on the, the angle. And this is a set screw you have to adjust. Uh, if your, your settings keep on changing, this is a set screw you need to pull out, put some Loctite on, put it back in. Uh, underneath this set screw is actually a spring. A spring. 
and a uh, just a little ball bearing, and it allows the, the cam to pivot and, and crush or basically crush the spring under uh, uh, acceleration. So basically, that's that's what you're looking for. So when when you're looking down in the top of your transmission, you're going to see basically this part of the gear with an opening, and then you'll you'll see that set screw. All right, so back, All right. back that back out. I'm doing that. So don't, now you're asking, well, uh, what, how do I adjust it? What, what do I do? Slowly. If you, I think, I'm trying to remember what the first cam type two speed I had. I think it been, might have actually been my, my four tech. And it was something I learned learned from my, my errors. It doesn't take an awful lot to make significant adjustments. And if you are too aggressive as far as like um, tightening down, on the set screw, you can actually damage the the spring, or you can. Yeah. You can just... Yeah. You're you're if you do tighten it down too much, you're, you're going to compress that spring and, and basically crush it, um, and then it's not going to swing the cam properly. But basically, when you go out, you, you got your engine tuned properly. Um, you want to go out to a nice straightaway and uh, roll onto the throttle, and you want to listen to the sound of the engine. Uh, when the engine starts to sound like it's getting up onto pipe, you get that nice crisp sound to it. That's when the that's when that two speed should shift. Now, if you hear like let's say the engine starts, uh, if the two speed shifts and the engine starts to bog, that means it's uh, uh, set too loose and the the cam is is, uh, is catching the second gear way too early. It's bogging down your engine. You're not going to get that nice crisp. Uh, 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 switch from second to third. Now, if your engine is whining out and it sounds like it's got to throw a rod out of the side of the block, that means your two speed is set too tight. That cam isn't getting out to hit that second gear. So what you got to do is you got to back off on that set screw, let that cam uh, hit the hit the second gear earlier. Um, and, and basically, it's it's a it's it's trial and error. You got to go and, and and make a couple of speed runs. You're not going to get it on the first time. Again, you only want to adjust it in small increments because, uh, you know, if you go and, and do one full rotation, it could be the difference between a bogging engine and a, and a high revving engine before the thing shifts or, or, or uh, bogs down during a shift. So you, you just go out, spend some time, uh, uh, run it back and forth and, and get it to uh, the point where, you know, uh, the engine is, is throwing a nice a cloud of smoke out of it, shifts properly and uh, uh, you should have a good shifting transmission. Um, make sure that, you know, things are well maintained. Uh, if if you, you get dirt inside the transmission or whatever, uh, that will cause the, uh, the cam to hang up, may not shift for you. Uh, other things we talked to people about on the show was uh, other slipping parts. Maybe your clutch at, uh, on your engine itself is slipping. So you want to make sure, uh, make sure your shoes aren't glazed, make sure the clutch bell isn't glazed, make sure there's no oil in the clutch bell, uh, check for, for pins that may have come out of your drive shafts, pins that come out of the wheels that are causing slip and, and you know, maybe your two speed's fine, it's something else that's slipping on the car. Uh, that's, that's about it for shifting a cam style two speed. Absolutely, I've seen some people actually tune, you know, if the, their tires aren't quite matched up to the, the track conditions, or if, uh, I mean, like, let's say you're just in a mud bath and you, you can't really put down all that power. I've seen people actually let their transmission start out in second just so that they, they can actually put some of their, their power down. But, but there's lots of uh, different tricks you can play. And it, it's, it's not real difficult, just something you got to play around with to get used to. It's uh, an important part of running your two-speed vehicle. Mm -hmm. Cool? That's our show for today. Cool. RC Driver Live at 5. Today brought to you by our friends, our gainful employers at shop4rc.com. And we are here Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. For now, I'm Bob Hastings. And I'm Greg Vogel. We'll do it all again tomorrow. We'll see you then.